Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. We know that our Earth is going through some changes. Some people like to discuss whether we're the main cause for it. But what we know is that things seem to be slipping through our fingers like sand. From animal species to the water we drink, we're running low on a few things and we can't exactly put them on the shopping list and go get them at the store. So we've put together a list of the top 10 things the world is running out of that may shock you. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up and in the comments section, let us know when you think humans will become extinct. Number 10, burial space. I know what you're thinking. Not only are we overpopulating the earth with living people, but also with dead people? That's right. While before, families were usually buried in their own plots or near their local church, and now we have graveyards. However, those bodies just don't go away and can't just be replaced. We have to make new graveyards, find new plots of land, and think of the millions of corpses we'd have to find space for over a few decades. So we need to get creative on options. There is, of course, cremation, or being totally inhumane and piling bodies into pits. Number 9. Helium Helium is supposed to be just present in nature, so why are we running out of it? Too much sucking on balloons for a cheap laugh? Turns out, helium is either recycled or captured from wells, which is costly. Before, the U.S. had a huge supply, but back in the 1990s, they started selling it off, reducing prices, and then suddenly they stopped, which shook the market. Now we're apparently running out of helium. It's way too expensive to source. All competitor vendors against the U.S. government have backed off and, turns out, scientists actually need the stuff. Liquid helium helps scientists cool temperatures down in refrigerators to just above absolute zero. It's also used in semiconductor manufacturing, leak detection, and diving. However, at varying rates reaching $35 a liter, the list of those who are able to afford it is getting shorter and shorter. Number 8. Common Antibiotics The savior of modern health, antibiotics, could be on its way out. We've overused the medication so much that now the number of drugs that could actually kill drug-resistant bacteria is dwindling. Developing new drugs is a big investment, and drug companies don't want to do it to avoid big losses. So we might all die, and where will all their big profits go then? Somebody needs to write a letter and send it to someone who can stop this. Number 7. Medical Isotopes Similarly, medical isotopes are on the out. Medical isotopes give short bursts of low-level radiation and are mainly used to diagnose cancer. Technetium-99M, the most common isotope, has a really short half-life, so labs keep a short supply. Nuclear facilities all over the world are shutting down, and the one facility that made it in North America shut down years ago. So if you're looking to open up business with low competition, you could look up the startup cost of a nuclear facility. Number 6. Coffee If you're not in the industry, you might not realize that coffee prices are going through the roof. This is due mostly to the conditions in coffee-growing countries. Droughts and disease outbreaks have not made it easy to grow coffee, and we're all going to pay the price for it. Some say if climate change goes on the way it is, and the demand for coffee increases as predicted, we'll be in a massive coffee shortage by 2050. I cannot even imagine a life without coffee, so looks like I'll have to start growing my own here pretty soon. Number 5. Bacon After telling you that coffee is going to be low on stock, you'd think I'd throw you an easy one to get over the blow, but I just can't do that. Turns out your breakfast is getting smaller and smaller, Say your goodbyes to your loyal friend, Bacon. According to the National Pig Association, it's pretty much an unavoidable loss at this point. The rising cost of food due to weak corn and soybean harvests, which are used to feed most of the animals we eat. Hog farmers are minimizing production to cut losses. 
To add, a porcine epidemic is attacking farms and there's no vaccine. So unless you want to dish out serious cash for your bacon, maybe start trying other options. Number 4. Sardines So, we're running out of sardines. Is anyone really upset about this? Anybody? Sardine populations fluctuate with water temperatures, and that's exactly what's about to change on Earth. So this means that these sardine hunting ships that are coming back with absolutely nothing are going to become a common occurrence. When the ships do catch, they're not limiting it in order to allow new generations to hatch. And if this continues, we could be eating ourselves into a problem. Well, people who like sardines anyway. Number three, goat cheese. This one is actually pretty interesting. There was a big Q fever outbreak in 2010 in the UK, and over 50,000 pregnant goats and sheep were removed from breeding. Other farmers stopped breeding entirely and thus cut the population of these animals drastically. As the supply dwindled, demand started to rise with countries like China developing a taste for the strange cheese. When there's money on the table, things start to get awkward as cheese suppliers try to figure out how to bring their groove back. In the meantime, goat cheese is going to be a delicacy. Number 2. Chocolate Oh my goodness, as if coffee and bacon weren't enough. The only ethical work that's bringing coffee to you is really increasing the price. Since child labor is being outlawed in West Africa, as are slavery and trafficking, our chocolate might start tasting a little sweeter and less hard to swallow, but it will cost a pretty penny. In fact, chocolates and diamonds might start to look just as romantic of a gesture. Since cocoa crops take years of hard work, the hours of ethical sourced labor will come straight out of the consumer's pockets. Hey, hope you can get hold of your chocolate cravings, or you better stock up your freezer. Number 1. Tequila Despite some folks' deepest wishes for the image of Mexico's rivers flowing with tequila, it's actually untrue. A virus in 2007 wiped out a large percentage of blue agave plants in Mexico. Now, 2007 might seem far back, but considering most agave plants used for tequila are at least six years old, this means that to this day, the shortage still affects the production of tequila. Some farmers even burned their agave fields and replaced them with corn. This led to an overall rise in tequila prices, so until the blue agave makes a comeback, tequila could become the rich people's spirit in town. Thanks for watching. Goat cheese, tequila, chocolate, coffee? Hmm, what item on this list would you miss the most if it were gone or too expensive to buy anymore? Let us know in the comments section. Remember to subscribe, click the bell, and please give this video a like.